Well, charging into the future, Purdue, INDOT, and Cummins teamed up to develop Indiana's first self-charging highway. News 8's Adam Pinsker tells us how this invention could help drive up electric vehicle sales. If you're driving along US 231 in Lafayette and you're wondering what all the construction is about between Cumberland Avenue and Lindbergh Road, it's no ordinary project. Crews are installing special coils that will charge electric vehicles just like your cell phone. That's the only sound you'll hear from a Cummins all-electric semi-truck because the vehicle does not use diesel. The company is teaming up with Purdue and INDOT to develop a road that will charge electric vehicles as they drive. We've designed this system so that a heavy-duty vehicle, when it gets onto the roadway, the roadway will provide the power to the vehicle as it's moving at 65 miles an hour. Crews will place these coils or transmitters under the roadway. EVs must be retrofitted with a receiver in order for the vehicle to receive the charge. It works with almost any electric vehicle. If you had your own charger in your home uh, and, you're, and it takes many hours for you to charge, this will reduce it down if you utilize this to charge your vehicle you would do it in a fraction of time, minutes rather than hours. The charging highway may ease what some people call charging anxiety, the fear some EV drivers have of going long distances because they may not be able to find an electric charger. So market adoption of commercial electric vehicles is, uh, is lagging, and it's lagging because of two big reasons. One, the batteries are heavy, they're expensive, and they don't provide enough um, enough range. If you have an EV, don't plan on charging it on this roadway anytime soon. There's still a lot of testing to be done. How well does the the uh, pavement withstand this uh, new material in it, and also vehicles driving over top of it? The 11 million dollar project will be completed by the fall, with testing set to begin in the spring of 2025. If it's successful, more of these chargers could be added to roads and interstates around Indiana. Adam Pinsker, WishTV, WishTV.com, and follow us on Facebook for updates.